children, kindergarten through eighth grade, can now sign up for the Junior Rainbow Booster Club. There's some juniors, but I believe they'll be in the BYU Booster Club. Applications are available at any Zippy's restaurant or local motion stores. And Chris, we talked about Jessica Suddeth in the game. The advantage that she has is she won't be leg weary at all, but the disadvantage is, of course, she really hasn't played much at all in the last two and a half weeks. As a matter of fact, a couple of back row substitutions in this tournament is all she's done the last three weeks. There is some concern about her timing. Heather Bowen will step out move, and she picks up her 15th kill on the night. Illustre with 15 kills, Lima 11, Karate 11. As you mentioned, Yort leading BYU with 12, Quicken in 11, and Rogers with 10. And Carpenter also with 10. Each team with four players in double figures and kills. Ball miss hit by Carpenter. And Carpenter picking up just her second error on the evening. You wonder about Carpenter being left out of game number two at the end there, being locked out of the game. She was unstoppable. Another error. That time, Puikinen says to Smith, get it a little bit higher. Again, don't want to use it as an excuse, but you got to wonder a little bit about fatigue and emotional draining second game. Well, that took a lot out of both teams, I can guarantee you that. Not to mention the arguing and you know, what was going on out there. That wasn't a normal game, too. 21-19 is not normal. Five serving six. Oh, a roof by Nikki Hubbard. One-on-one -on -one with Carpenter. Oh, he still has some legs left. This may be the biggest mismatch of the night. Carpenter's been flawless all night. Here's the smallest bow blocker in, Cub in Hubbard. She has one more block left in her cupboard. Put it away. 6-6. <laughs> six, six. Outside, and that ball not hit well. Kept alive by Hawaii. Sudduth calls it nicely. Three ball put over. Short set in the middle. Knocked back. We can miss that one. Good pass from Sudduth. She's a good passer. Bowen. Rogers overpass. Outside Karate. Over the top. Kept alive. Players all over the floor. Now York knocks it over. Outside Karate again. Got it. Oh, little Leah from Kekaha going over the BYU block. You see Hubbard get a shot at that. Here's Ballin saving on her knees that kept the rally alive. And here's the end. Karate down the line and in front of the back row middle. Great coverage that time to show you both the big dig and the kill. There, finally, Carpenter takes it off the block, and BYU gets it back, but Hawaii was down 3-6, they now lead, and BYU serving at 6-7. Two of those four points came on BYU, self-imposed hitting errors. Excellent serve, and flipping on the floor, flipping on the letter C of the word whack, was Karate. This forecourt is not the grippiest court in the world either, John. Very different from Hawaii's Terraflex they used to playing on. And they've got tape down. Dumped over. Three ball. Roof right back. Carpenter could not get a swing and Bowen says, uh-uh, not on me. Bowen ended up on the outside. Charlie Wayne and I were talking about this earlier about switching Bowen once in a while just for fun to the outside. It happened by accident there again tonight. She got the big roof. I think she had fun. Hawaii in seven, BYU at seven. There's a ball again. The timing is not great right now on the BYU hitter side. But they get the side out. John, neither side physically real crisp and sharp right now. So much was left on the floor after that 21-19 game two. Lima off the block, or rather off the net and then off the touch. York pops it over, Miyashiro. Lima cross court, nice dig by Smith. She'll take a swing at it. Set it again, an excellent passer. He gets a good pass, a good set. Boom. How about Lima three times in a row? This is someone who's got a burning pain in her back, her lower back. It hurts all the time. She gets three sets in a row and converts on set number three. She is up her game tonight. She's got 12 kills, hitting about 300. Only rainbow up in that lofty area. Oh, a miss hit that time. York slips onto the floor. Gotta wonder if this floor is getting a little bit slippery with all the scuff marks and things. And then they mop it down after every timeout in between games. There's a block and the ball hit up. Nobody's karate. 
and Layton stepping on each other that time. Take a look as they hit the feet right here. Boom. Karate came down on Layton's foot. Layton got knocked down. We've seen sprained ankles that way, but Karate's okay. That's why they tape him up and wear the braces. Knocked his ankle. Seven serving eight. Good pass from Lima. Karate, I think she's okay. Look at that shot. What leaping ability. She's not a former high jump champion for nothing. Four sport athlete at Omega High School. Cross court. Kept alive by that violation. I believe Hawaii they're checking now. And Shoji can't believe it. Here's enough. There's enough already. What happened was the bottom referee, Sue LaMere, made that call because Flipnicken was blocked out. Set us back was to her. I thought it was good that she deferred to the bottom referee on that. Good call. Into the net with the BYU serve. Cougars two aces and at least nine service errors. Hawaii five aces, five errors. And Chris, as you always say, you like to keep a one-to-one -one ratio. Hawaii's been doing better than that this year. BYU, a hundred extra errors this year. It's costing them in this match. Three ball not hit well. Now a chance for Hawaii. Stud it. Four hits called on the Hawaii side. I don't know what that one was. Hawaii coaches can't understand it. Thought there was an extra touch on the Hawaii side. I don't understand that either. I'm surprised Sulemir doesn't overrule Quid Mickin on that. It was not four hits. No, the ball went over and BYU pushed it back, but no argument. Or no vociferous argument. Set it off the block. That's the touch. Bowen sets it outside to set it. Cross court gets it. Set it playing with her dislocated or ligament problem in her hand bandage, playing with a bad heel. There's one hit on the block. There's two hits. After the block count is done, there's the, there's the fourth hit, but the block does not count as a hit. You get three hits after the block. Maybe she's saying when those two players dove that they no, 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 no. It's, it. it's when the two blockers, it's when the block was standing on their on her tiptoes. But that was they, they claimed that they were coming down, and maybe they were a, a defender at that time on the floor, as opposed and to not blocker. supposed to be the blocker jumping. Well, they don't have the replay. We do. It's still seven eight. Lima overpass, three ball, three game, puts it down. 8-8. Eight, eight. Little things start to add up. Little passing errors. Slippage of feet. Better pass this time. Back set, Bowen. Over the top, kept alive by BYU. Free ball for Suttis. He puts it down. Nice play by Suttis, not to be too over-anxious and hit the net there. She had nobody going up with her. Yeah, good control by Jessica. Remember, there's a good pancake by Annalena Smith. The ball just is not kept under control. 50-50 ball pounded by Suttis. Suttis does her little fake there, throws it up once. She can do that one time. She'll do her little jumper now, but not much on it. Not going real hard with it. Oh, a dump and not a good one. And Hawaii was right there. Karate, Rogers, good dig. Outside, Carpenter blocked. Carpenter right over the top, and Hawaii never saw it. The blockers didn't know where the ball was, and then it came right back over their head. 8-8. Eight, eight. Bowen through the block, good dig in the back. Weaken in, roof up front, Karate. And Elena Smith not getting that one up high enough for Layton to put away. Once again, Leah Karate doing it as a smallish 5'9 outside hitter. Just skies, watch her squat and sky, putting the ball straight down on Layton. Chris, that ball just not put up high enough either. Good dig in the back by Suttis. She's a good passer. Again, I say it because Chris is coming through. She may not be in her best tonight hitting, but those digs are so key. Well, if you recall, she got some action, as we see smiles all around from Karate. She got some action against San Jose State and brought some stability to that passing pattern. Jessica's doing the same thing right now. Well, and she's getting, as they say, her game legs now. She's been in the game for about 10 minutes. She's getting warmed up. Remember, she's all whack team selection. Another bad pass by BYU. But Hawaii doesn't play it well, and it's a free ball. Uh, Hawaii could have gone to 10-8 right then. Now a chance off the block. 
Over the top, put down nicely. Smart play by Lima. Okay, Hawaii got away with one there, John. Yep. They cannot afford to be that sloppy against a team as good as BYU. You get points, you get second chance points like that. And Lima's pumped up. Watch this little thing. She puts it away, and it's a timeout for BYU. Hawaii leads 10-8 in game three of the WAC championship.